The name translates to Arabic Renaissance Publishing House, established in downtown Cairo in 1960 with a mission to enhance the Arabic Renaissance. However, its roots stem more than 30 years earlier. It was established by the El Sayed family around 1930 as the Egyptian Renaissance for Publishing. The main founders were Yusuf Muhammad El Sayed to your left and Hassan Muhammad El Sayed. They later brought on their other three siblings, Ahmed, Fahmi, and Abd al Monam. The Egyptian Renaissance for Publishing was established as part of the rise in the Egyptian national pride against ongoing colonial cultures and English occupation, which ended in the mid 1950s. It was the first all national Egyptian bookstore with focus on Egyptian authors and publications in Arabic. It also focused on general literature, national history, current affairs, and academic advanced subjects at the time that most other publishers focused on school notes and ancient religious texts. Then comes 1960, when Yusuf and his two sons, Fauzi and Hamdi, and his brother, Abd al Manam, move on to start Dar al Nada al Arabiya, or Arabic Renaissance, one street over from the Egyptian Renaissance. That same year, Yusuf succumbs to heart disease and the flourishing Dar al Nada al Arabiya continues to publish more than 80 new books in its first year. In 1968, Hamdi decides to establish Dar al Nada al Hadisa, or the New Renaissance. Over the span of 60 years, Dar al Nada al Arabiya established the reputation as the largest publisher for Arabic legal books and references in the Arab world. In addition, it produced significant publications in psychology, management sciences, media, literature, economy, and academic university books. On its list of authors, there are experts and technocrats who developed the constitutional laws for Arab countries and served as secretaries and ministers in addition to famous fiction authors. It holds the fourth rank in the list of Egyptian publishers based on ISBN with more than 7,000 books. Today, Dar el Nada is the last bastion holding the legacy of El Sayed family publishing. Fauzi Yusuf was fondly called as Austez or Mr. Fauzi or Haj Fauzi or Fauzi Bey by his peers, employees, and clients. He joined the family business while he was a student at the American University in Cairo in the mid 40s. He worked with his uncles in Maktabat el Nada al Masreya and in Dar el Nada al Arabiya. Of course, he accompanied his dad in both companies for more than 15 years, then led Dar al Nada al Arabiya single handedly for 30 years. Fauzi Yusuf was kind hearted, unassuming, with a photographic memory, a great clean sense of humor, and he was pragmatic and fair minded. He was never interested in material competitions and avoided conflict at all costs. He was not expressive with his feelings or emotions, but he was the first to volunteer to help and serve people. He helped edit and publish many dissertations. His competitive advantage was honesty and professional ethical conduct. The speakers of the Egyptian parliament and leading professors in Egyptian universities were common staples in his office. His independence, reputation, and ethical conduct made him able to provide best business advice, and he was never shy of encouraging authors to avoid any shady or unethical conduct regardless of their status. A day in Fauzi's life always started with prayers and reading a section of the Quran, then walking to his bookstore. His life ended while in prayer in the mosque he frequented next to the bookstore. Fauzi Yusuf was posthumously awarded in 2019 the Lifetime Achievement in Publishing by the Egyptian Publishers Association. We thank God for Fauzi's blessed life and death.